Casey thinks that he saw Van's bike. Van's bike got stolen last night or something. And he thinks he sees it. So we'll see. I don't know. He like maybe holds his backpack and shit like that. Are you fucking kidding me? He's got it. Whose bike is that? Vance. How do you know it's his? Check out the license plate. Yep. That's that's Van's bike. Someone stole my bike and we're trying to find it, but the tracking thing that's built into it is almost useless. Oh, I gotta carry that, okay. Now just searching on foot, the app is supposed to track them, but I called Dean and he said it's two hours before they send the ping from the bike so that we can find the location. It's what? It's your fault that you made me cry. I made you cry? How come? Don't go in someone's car. Man, I love that bike. It's the best bike I ever had. And the thing about it is that it wasn't just my bike, it was X's and my bike. This is uh, the first footage of us ever riding it together. And some scumbag stole it while we were playing ski ball at the Santa Monica Pier. Got a ping from the bike, 11th in Arizona, in Santa Monica. I'm meeting Dean there right now. I'm gonna take, I'm gonna take X's T-ball bat with me, and I'm gonna go meet him right now. Good enough. So I made one mistake. I don't know why I made this mistake. I think it's because I'm so routine oriented. I made one mistake, and that was I didn't check the ping from the bike until eight this morning when I should have checked it at four or five o'clock in the morning and then had to jump on whoever this thief is. What this thief might not understand, though I've painted it on the down tube, is that this particular bike contains a tracking transponder. This bike is virtually worthless. It's stolen. It contains a GPS tracking device. Its electronic components require my phone to function. Its value warrants a grand larceny charge. I'm gonna return to the scene of the crime. All right, so Dean dressed up for this, and he has a theory about a parking garage full of questionable bikes. General Van Moof notes or general bike thief notes? General Van Moof bike thief notes. Okay. So I talked to the 
bike recovery guys when my bike got stolen, and they said, without exception, when they went to retrieve a bike, as soon as they found it, the guy just gave it up. Oh, okay. There was no fight. There's no argument. He just they, he knew it right away. He gave it. That's up. been my experience. Yeah. So, you know, violence is always absolute bad. You oh, the police report. The cops would come and help. The cops were really surprisingly helpful. They like called me back and got me the report number and everything so I could oh, nice. send it to Van Move. All right, so this is the parking garage. Oh, that one. Oh, so you think this? This place looks kind of... Oh, I, to, I was thinking less legit than this. Oh, okay. I don't want to disparage any legitimate... Bit. Oh! Okay. Were the lights on last time you came here? So I should turn my app on? Yeah. Okay. That's not it. While this is happening, and so while we look, the hotel union is on strike. The housekeeper's union is on strike. And just out of a, out of a humiliating irony, we're just looking here, which is where Pee Wee's Her Herman's bike got stolen in Pee Wee's Big Adventure. It looked a lot different then. Losing valuable time! Set up a dragnet! Call the whole area! Hurry! Look, buddy, I'm afraid we can't consider your bike being stolen in a police emergency. If it doesn't turn up, then come down to the station and fill out a report. That's the best we can do. Come on, let's go. What are you looking at? What's up, man? What are you looking at? It's a nice setup you got there. Oh. You sleep up top? Huh? You sleep up top? Yes, I do. Now, when I handed the GoPro over to Dean, the screensaver must have come on, which makes it look like the GoPro is powered off. So I think Dean powered the GoPro off, thinking it was powering it on. And what he missed was me telling this man that I had reported the bike stolen. I had filed a police report with the Santa Monica Police Department that this bike was stolen and that if he just let me take the bike, that would be the end of it. And then this happened. Oh, please, dude. You're not going to give me my hundred bucks back for it? I just paid a hundred stolen bike. Dude, dude I just have a three thousand dollar stolen bike. Well, why are you gonna take a three hundred dollars? I'm sorry. I just paid a hundred bucks for it. I didn't. You can at least give me a hundred bucks. You bought, you bought a, stole, a clearly stolen bike with my name on it. Dude, for there's so many right. bikes sorry, are man, fucking man. around here, bro. I'm sorry. So many <laughs> fucking bikes around here. All right, we're just gonna right. good. Right. Walk away. Take it. Sorry. Walk, man. Take walk. It. Walk. Take it. Take it. Hey, don't be like that. Hey, 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 hey. hey. Oh, Everybody oh, calm the fuck down. What's going on here? Take the bike. No, what's going on here? All right, the cops are coming around. Get the cops, man. Yeah, do it right, bro. Do it right. You got a receipt. You got all that shit. Yeah, just get the fuck in here, man. Don't do that. Yeah, just take it easy. Take it away. Take it easy. I paid 100 bucks for it. So what? All right, we're out. Just get a receipt next time. Bring the receipt. I have a receipt. That's all right, Van, Van. Enough. We're done. So Where's your receipt? We're done. What are you doing? You gotta get the receipt. Where's your receipt? The receipt to prove it, man. Yeah, yeah. Matter of fact, yeah. Go get the cross and get the receipt. Go get the cross and get a receipt. Right, hey, hey, what? Take a breath. Take a breath. Take a breath. Take a breath. What? What do you want to see? What do you want to see? I want to see the receipt. Hold on, my guy. Hold on. You Hold on. Let's just do this right, dude. All right. You get involved with the right people. You show the receipt is yours. That's it. Hold on. How about this? How about this? What's the name etched into that frame right there? Uh-huh. Okay. See that name right there? Dan Neistat? 
Damn nice, that. Cool. Is that a good enough receipt? All right, you have something else. You got a receipt, bro? Enough. You have a phone. You got a receipt? With a, with a bike, you have a phone on your That's phone. not enough? Dude, the cops no, is not enough. I'm gonna ask you the same thing. You got a picture? I reported it. You got a picture? This is an electronically enabled pipe. Bro, I understand. Wait, just show us a photo. It says all that. How about this? How about how do you turn that light on? Right here. That ain't the only bite they made. No, it's fine. This Where's is the bad. Bike? Listen, listen, listen. All right, Where's listen. The if it's the gentleman's bike, he's having his bike. Let him have it. It is right. my bike. It has my name written on it. I just told you I paid 100 bucks for it. Show yeah. Photo with it, man. Uh, I need police assistance immediately on Rose Ave in the boardwalk. Uh, yeah, in the boardwalk in Venice. I just had a man stole my bike and he's threatening me with a. Uh, I didn't steal your bike. No, but I just bought this bike. Just, what is we just want to make sure about? that it's you know the person's bike. It's, I'm just looking. I'm just looking at Rose Ave, and I'm on the boardwalk in Venice. This is the officer's name. His name's Stephen Perez. That's cool. cool. Let the cops yeah. come. Yeah. I just bought it. If you can connect and you can show uh, it's proof a of it, 50, dude, 50 All right. ish year old man, black man, green pants, yeah. green shirt. Good, We're standing right here. That's cool. I, I seen tons, lots of different I can't hear you. So I'm telling you, hi. Hey, how are you, Nancy? Uh, he has a large pair of pliers. All right. He has. What for this motherfucker? How long has this been stolen? 24 hours? Yeah. Oh, okay. I don't know if he took it, but he I currently has it. Gazebo right here. I'm going to get my money, man. Yeah. Go get your money back from that man. Huh? Go get your money from that guy. Because I, I, I paid 100 bucks. Go get your money. I'm going to. If he's got it. Man, right now. Good, man. Turn turn the bikes around. It's all good. It's all good. Like you say, hey man, we're, we're not against you guys. We're against the people that are taking these things. So good to do with that guy. You feel me? Yeah. So So we're just gonna we're, we're gonna leave right now with the bikes and that's the end of it. Yeah, yeah, that's it. If it's your property, man, you're allowed to take your property. Yeah, we're gonna leave right now with the bikes. It's definitely. It's definitely, alright? Don't worry about it. I'm not the situation may have resolved. He's walking away from us. Um, we're gonna leave to defuse the situation. He's in a, no, no, no. a silver silver right away. Right away. Right away. No, no. Hey, bro. Do you want to go through that again? Let them come. Okay. So, my brother and I have been riding around looking for a stolen bike. We just found it. We showed the guy that it was our bike. His name is engraved in the side. The guy got very violent, physical, pushed us, dropped with the bike, came at us with some pliers. That's his truck right there. And then as soon as uh, he heard your siren, he took off on a skateboard going south. Is your bike still here? No, my brother left with the bike. Oh, your, bike, your brother got the bike back? Yeah, there was some, enough separation that we had the opportunity to leave with it, so he left with it. Okay. I told him to leave. Okay. I didn't say when he got it. He just bought it up a tree down the beach. It has my brother's name engraved on the side of it. Okay. Brother like, and Casey? Van, the other one. And he was like, this is my bike, here's my ID. That's my bike. The guy flipped out, he came at us with the pliers, he started clipping spokes, jocking the bike, pushing back, getting very physical, and then as soon as I called you guys, he took off down the board. Oh, so the, bike, okay, the bike's gone now? Well, no, my br when he took off, he took off on his skateboard, my I told my brother to take the bike away to, to diffuse that element of it. So my brother went back to his truck with the bike. I don't know what footage Dean was able to get with the GoPro, but I couldn't shoot riding two bikes back from Venice that way. Uh, the, cops would, the cops would like you to come back uh, with the bike if possible so they can close out the report and they want to know if you want to arrest, have the guy arrested for receiving stolen property. I definitely do. Okay, then come on back. He had his fucking chance and he was a fucking idiot and I definitely do. I don't disagree, yeah. You gotta come back with the bike, though. Ride the bike back? Okay. Either ride, ride it back. All right, so now I gotta go deal with the police. Oh, there he is. Hello? Yeah, okay. So, we, uh, we'll, uh, so it turns out the guy in the green admitted to the cops that he knew my bike was stolen when he paid 100 bucks for it, and we never caught the, the actual thief. And I pressed charges not out of vengeance, but out of principle, because I gave that man a chance to give my bike back peacefully 
and he fought for it. I think you How can... did the smokes get cut? He, he came at us with the pliers. And I said, look, I'm not going to call the police. You have it right now. Yeah. We're square. And then he just started saying, I paid 100 bucks for it. I paid 100 bucks for it. Give me 100 bucks. And so I took it. And then his last line of defense was to cut spokes. And hopefully those guys down in Venice get a little bit more paranoid about stealing bikes and understand that a lot of them have tracking devices in them and so forth. I've dreamed of this since I lived in New York City. Finding I've your dreamed of this since 1998. <laughs> <laughs> you never get to find it. And I'm bummed because I don't have the kid's seat. I know. But I'll make a new one for my daughter, I guess. And while I was happy to get my bike back, you know, I was bummed to put a guy in jail for having a stolen bike the day before the 4th of July. On this week's Patreon-only video, sewing is the second least sophisticated level of repair and the first technically significant level of repair. And I think sewing is a good entry point for working with your hands.